Hello everyone, I hope you're all enjoying the nice weather. I'm Lauren Boucher and today I will be making tzatziki. It's so good. I love dill. Everybody knows that. And it's pretty simple. Oh shoot, I just remembered I forgot the chips, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so first what I did is I sauteed up some garlic because I don't like using raw garlic. So I diced the garlic and then put it on the stove in some olive oil, browned it up for like one minute. Really easy. And then you need Greek yogurt, lemon, dill, and a cucumber. And some salt, I think. I forget. Oh, and you need olive oil. First you want one cup of Greek plain yogurt. I just got this from Whole Foods. Yum. Mix this up a little bit. Make sure it's nice and creamy. So next you need half a cup of cucumber, which is basically a whole cucumber, and you need to strain it. It's a little bit of a process. Actually, you know what, first we're gonna, I'm gonna just throw in my garlic and the dill. I'm gonna use a crap ton of dill because I really like dill. Use about this much tablespoon, I don't know, let me get a knife. And I'm just gonna basically cut the stems or the like, almost like pine cones. You don't really want stems and if you think it's cut, it's probably not, so just do another few slices through. Now add this one right in, yummy, yummy, yummy. Got a lemon. You want about a tablespoon. Ooh. I don't know why I'm doing this with my left hand. I basically have zero, zero squeeze skill on my left. Oh shoot, we gotta, we gotta seed. Let's get the seed out. Yum. And then I think we need a half a tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm just gonna guesstimate what half is. Okay, that's about it. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now to the cucumber. So shave the cucumber. I don't like skin, so why would I use it? First, peel it. Next, you're gonna shave it on the littlest setting. Shave the whole cucumber. Okay. Oh, God. Look at all this juice. I'm telling you, cucumber is like basically all juice. So I have a clean dish towel. I'm going to put the cucumber in this towel and then um, strain out even more liquid. So squeeze till you can't squeeze no more. I mean, you can probably always keep squeezing, but when you've had enough, you've had enough. So you'll see it's like a tiny little gross cucumber ball. Throw that right in. She's done. Let's mix her up and see what's good. The cucumber likes to chunk, so make sure you really try and break up that cucumber. Now, the one thing I forgot is the pita chips. You know, the classic, some of the best chips. I couldn't even open these before because if I open them, I would just eat them and it's bad. Let's give it a try. This is just like the most refreshing tzatziki you've ever had. It's so good. Honestly, I might even add some more dill. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more dill. Mm. I'm gonna add a little more lemon and a little more dill. It just is baffling how easy it is to make. You can buy it at the grocery store if you're lazy, but you really want some fresh shish. Just make it yourself. This dill just smells amazing. It's so good. I love it. Please go make this. It's like well worth it. Such a good dip. I got nothing more to say. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. And tell your friends. Thanks. Bye.